네, 죄송합니다. 교수님 마이크가 음소거 돼 있는 것 같습니다. 아, 오케이. So uh, I will. So the, we are continue to finish cut, and this is completed view of rough cut. So it kind of cut out like a stairs. Mm. And then it'll as kind of as you see that it'll take another hour to cut it. Uh, but in the meantime. So what are what are we going to do? Uh, I will explain a little bit later. So this one, okay. So oh, okay. So what we are going to do is that this one is actually end mill, which is actually this one is quite sharp edge. But the surface cut that we are going to use is actually smooth cutting. So we are going to we are we need to change the router bit from end mill to uh, this round bit. So this is the round bit, and then as you see that uh, this one has uh, uh, this one is actually bore nose drill bit. So we are going to replace it. Would you hold it for a second and I show this part? So to replace that, I'm just going to use this tool. Uh, one hold uh, the water, and the another hold the chuck. Uh, chuck is the name of the this gripper that holds it. And I just take it out and I just replace it. So as you see that the position of this drill bit is still X0 and Y0. So X, Y really doesn't really change. However, what has been changed? Yeah, the G is actually, we don't know because it really depends on the position where I set it. So we need to reset. The G position before we run our uh, finish cutting, the surface uh, cutting. So I'm going to a little bit, so I will locate the G plate below this excellent location. So the role of its, this boundary area is actually one of the our tool to maintain the G position. And there's some occasions that you may want to use the all of the area. Then what could be another, what could be a solution? So imagine that we cut out all the area. So we have no way to keep the G location. And how could it be a solution? What could it be a solution for keep the G position? Yeah, so yeah, that's exactly. Prepare another material the same height and look at anywhere. So you are going to uh, use the G plate on top of that. Then what if you lose the, uh, so actually XYZ will maintain the location. So it, there will be no problem. Okay, so I'll just continue, I turn it on. Ah, so uh, another important issue. So this one happens quite a lot, meaning that the cutting time is too long. So you have to go for lunch or another class and continue to come back. And actually this one is ton, oh, someone turned off the power. What does it mean? It will stop in the middle. So it will, yes, sometimes it happens too. And sometimes actually this one says XY is zero and zero, zero, six, but actually this machine lose the track of XY. So in case you have to go outside, it is quite necessary that you move it back to XY zero location and then turn it off there. So when you turned on, so the machine doesn't remember any location, but we know that, oh, the place that we turned off is actually XY origin. So we can know by doing that. Okay, so we turned it up again. Okay, so we turned it on. And then. Okay. 
So I just. Oh, I, So now it is on. So what I'm going to do, I just reset the zero look the Z height location. So G is set. I will take off and remove this G plate and this clip. Then I just start our finish cut. Uh, we don't really save the finish cut, so let's kind of retry. Uh, okay. And we are going to add, okay, so let's just do the like, card. So we just use the file that we have worked on. Where is the file? Okay, so this is the file we used last time. And then we switch to finish cut. And then we'll use bore nose bit. And then we'll just use climb. And then uh, selecting climb or conventional will check the surface. If we calculate. And this is the cutting, which is doesn't look like the one we have. Is it like one we have? Okay, I think it's okay. And then let's simulate it. It will cut from the center. And it will cut like this. Let's take a look at it. So uh, let me double check where is X and Y. So this is X and Y. And I'm not so sure that this is the right file. In this case, this one is up, but in this case, this one is down. So I'm not so sure that this is the right one. So I just kind of like reset. So I just create a so you want to do CNC class. So I just open another one. Not this one. So I think that one's supposed to be, but I'm not really sure. So I just recreate a one. So 150 27 and okay. Yeah, we import it and go to 3D model. And then probably it's supposed to be in download since test on Monday. And import okay. So yeah, so I think this one's the correct the little same one. Okay, let's double check. The download since Monday. Okay, so this is the right one. Oh well, we have to rotate the 90 degree. Okay, so looks everything is okay. So I think I'm sure that. This is okay because we have to rotate to 90 degree. So then we just try finish cutting 27 millimeter. And we are going to use four nose and then climb and okay. And then this one will look like this. Let's simulate it. So it will cut like this. Then cutting time will be 18 minutes. That doesn't make sense. Let me just double check. Quarter four nose, quarter inch. And here, on quarter inch. 10 millimeter. So this one's supposed to be 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, but this one is too fast. So I'll just back to. 10 and 10. 
select one more time. The first one. Let's check the time. Two hours. So that's why I kind of we accelerated last time. So I just make it in less than an hour. So I just a little bit a little bit make it faster. So it like 20, plunge like 20, and apply and select. Calculate it. And check the time. So this is one hour. So I think it looks really reasonable. So this one, we can use it. So I just save it as shopbot file. And this one, I save it desktop and on Monday class. So save it, 3D finishing and done. So let's just save it. Uh, what, what we are, oh, we have a new one. So we have recorded this one new too. So after doing this, what we will do is that uh, I will, you can draw in uh, Rhino. And what we are going to do here, I just draw a rectangle from the left corner to the right corner. And I just kind of set it more precisely. So I just changed to 75, 75 and 100, 100, numerically correct and apply. So this one is the exact fit outside. What I'm going to do is that I will use this profile cutting and cut depth is 26, that's just fine. And it'll take a little bit long, it's okay. And I'll cut the outside of it and then I'll add a tab. So I actually add a round corner. So because, and then this will cut the outside of it. And by doing so, we don't really need to cut manually because we are going to cut using CNC. So I just calculate. And what this will do, it will cut out. And then as you see that it will left us some tap. And all we have to cut is, is this little corner and a little bit left over boundary. And this profile cutting will take 10 minutes. So it's not that tough. And delete this one. And then this one, I save it as uh, boundary cutting. So we are ready. So this one, we are all set. And we will save one more time. And then I just finish it. And then here, I will start this 3D rough cutting and enter. And I will run. Uh, this one has to move the outside of it. Uh, so it, it, it'll happen quite many times. So I simply limit triggered. What it means is I just quit it. I just reset. And then I just try one more time. Enter. Okay. The reason why I stop it because it's supposed to stop in the middle. Oh, I did a, a rough one. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see, I see. Yes. Did I select the rough one? Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So I will just move it back. Going back to near the origin area. Did I cut the rough one? Oh, yeah. yes, so thank you very much. Oh, you got that, you catch it. So that's why I always I kind of check that. So sh you should understand uh, how does it move in the code. But the best way is uh, I would kind of delete it in case. So that's why in the V curve, I just delete anything unnecessary. So select the finish cut and enter. Okay. It's supposed to close to in the middle and then it's cut from the right line. Okay, so that looks very different. 
So now you see I just have two points of view. And now let's go back. So this one is the research of other classes of things. But as you see that, you probably see that this kind of, you see it's not triangulated part to avoid this, this kind of triangulated surface. Just make it have more polygons. And then this one is the cutting of this. So this one will be our reference surface. And then this one is that what we cut it from using this transfer. So I kind of uh, explain how to use it. And then the rest part, uh, we are going to use actually belt sender. So we can actually uh, nicely send it uh, following this circuit. So this one, uh, we are going to use another maker space in the building to five. So next Monday, we will meet at the C5 first floor that year. So this is the one. And then actually, we are going to exercise this one. And then as you see that, this one is a kind of like a best control to move this one C5 
safe place, instead of your cup change directly like this, very dangerous. So when you work with any power tool, you need to think about what can be sacrificed for your hand. 여러분, 손 대신에 뭘 다치게 할 때를 생각해야 돼요. And so kind of we have plenty of wood here. That by doing so, you can protect your body. And then another thing is that, uh, did I talk about gloves? Okay, so something oscillating, which is vibrating tool, it's okay to use your glove. But this kind of tool is so called, how does it work? There's a band here and it will rotate it. So if you use your, if you use gloves, by any chance, if it drag it, if it touch your glove, it will drag your hand to the blade. So do not use any glove when you use any power tool, particularly something, a station-based power tool. The 뭔가 고정돼 있는 power tool은 절대 쓰면 안 돼요. And any grinder, so do not use gloves. And to make use of this uh, bend saw, there is a protector, protector for blade. So the first thing you are going to do is uh, release it. So release this screw, and then this one will move up and down. And then move up. Uh, that barely your material goes inside. So not this one. If you see, there is another. Uh, you you see this kind of this uh, bearing ball. So this material, this one protection, supposed to just barely move up this material, and then just hold it. And because of this height. There is really no way for your hands to go through this blade. So by doing so, you can protect your fingers. Still, it just may go here. So actually, this gap is just kind of like low enough to protect your fingers. Still, I definitely do not wear any gloves because when you do that, you may do like this. So I definitely don't want to move it like this. Always. Use some other material and then let this material cut it for your hand. A general law do not approach your hands around this blue circle, stay away out of it. And then use wisely so you can cut this way. Or you can move it back here, and if so, you can cut it this way either. But just make yourself so general rule if you feel safe, that will be fine. So, and if you're uncertain about it, then just ask us. And in this case, we can even do not just this one, we all do it even longer. So you can protect yourself. Also, you know, Please do not use finger approach this area. Instead, use another tool to again to protect yourself. 
So another issue is that so this one is black, like CNC machine, very tiny little particle can shift towards you. So always when you use power tool, I'll definitely wear all the time uh, your glasses. <laughs> okay, the whole bit. And another one. If you come here, Uh, so general rule of this is always use a new one. Did I tell you this one? Okay. So, I already put a lot of dust things. I said my hands is quite dirt. So the way how to use this earplug is you're going to squeeze it and put it in your ear. But when you're squeezing this earplug, all the dirt on your finger goes here. And then probably a lot of sharp little particles stay here and then it will hurt your inner finger, inner ear. So make sure that when you Uh, in general, uh, so I just turn it on. So as you see there, you hear a lot of high frequencies. Yeah. And I believe that you should not hear this frequency sound no more than one hour. So if it is just kind of less than 10 minutes or two, I, it's okay. However, it is longer than 10 minutes, I would definitely wear this. So I just, let's wear it. Uh, okay, let's use the plus. Okay. Oh, That's hard to do with Probably, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, wear it and test it. You can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay. So for now, I will shout. So instead, so so we are going to exercise this one, but not using this. And then we are going to use a kind of uh, let a second. Okay. So I have more wood. So what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. <laughs> This one is the leftover from last time. So I will cut this one for using this wood together to hold it. So I cut five times using this bandsaw. So again, I must make the same way of here. I here. Okay, when you approach it, approach it slowly. Then 
what you feel that a kind of resistance, then you can to control your state. But definitely, I approach it extremely slowly first. And I do not take it off by hand. I will use another tool to move it out. Or turn it off to take it out. So this one is cutting. So your job is let's mark. Okay, I don't know, one, two, three, and just cut it. Okay. And let's just think about what is even safer way to use it. How to make it even more safe than using hand. Use pull. Yeah, use clip. Yeah. So it is not really necessary. However, you can do this way. So now you don't need to use, need to use your finger, finger at all. So I just turn it on. Hold this one. So now this one is, you have no way to hurt your hand at all because I'm using clamp. Or, so if you feel like, you, if you feel unsafe, use clamp. But if you're confident, if you feel safe, you can just use it without it, so it's up to you. But again, make sure that uh, your safety is the most important one. Not the tool, not the material, but the safe. You should just make yourself safe here. So, who wants to do first? <laughs> okay, let's put five. Okay. No, no, no. You got to do it. On, on. Yeah, get it, tell that to care. Get to put it, tell that to care. 
네, 이거 치울 때 손으로 하지 말고. 그리고 요거는 거의 다 걸어 놓으면 돼요. 네, 더 잘라 보세요. 네, 여러분 사실은 이거 자를 때는 이거 굳이 필요하진 않아요. 근데 이거 언제 쓰느냐? 이렇게 됐을 때. 이렇게 짧을 때. 지금은 사실은 필요는 없어요. 그리고 다리 걸리고 발이 <웃음> 걸리고 다음 해볼까요? Next. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I'll give you a longer one.
Uh, uh, Isha, why do you lag? Yes. You can just cut it. Right. Uh, it's quite easy, right? Uh, let's just see how does it going on. So this one is almost ready. So after this one, I will put out the boundary. So when you do boundary, make sure that the part of the group is. So the group will move around, around this area. So make sure that the part of the boundary do not touch this any group. That's something you need to be very careful.
Okay, uh, while we are waiting, let's exercise other stuff. So, uh, so the first, the purpose of band cell, uh, uh, as you see that, no matter how precisely you've done, this is not, this is not 90 degree angle. Because this tool is not designed for that. Uh, this one is band so meaning that it will bend, so it's flexible. So the main idea is that this one is not straight cut. This one is basically curved cut purpose. So what you have to do is, instead of doing it this way, actually rather, uh, this one is designed to actually cut curved. So actually I wanted to, oh, that one is done. So actually that this one, I want to exercise later, design something curved and then just cut it. Okay, so let's go back to there. So, so this one is roughly finished the cut and then you proceed that also triangulation if you want to remove triangulation, again, okay, just make it use more polygons. And then now I'll just cut out the boundary. So just want to cut it. I just cut boundary.
네, 이제 귀 빼도 돼요. 요거는 다 버리도록 하세요. 네, 네 요거 다 됐고. So, this is done. So, we want to take the model out of it. So, I just simply move this router a bit, a little bit left side of it. Until you can use the uh, screwdriver. Uh, would you bring the screwdriver? Yeah, through the table, you see? Huh? Yeah. 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 <웃음> 아, 요거 할 때는 가급적이면 수직으로 make make it a vertical curve. 네, 오디오 그 쓰고 나서 오디오 put it back on the uh, where the original location. Okay, so now we have this model, and we are going to cut the side of it. So. Uh, So now, actually, you can cut this way. However, I don't really recommend to cut like this. So instead of, OK. <laughs> All right, so there are many different ways. So I would definitely use one of these tools. And actually, you can just kind of, and then let's set the height. And actually, this one is quite safe, and I think it's kind of feel good. So I just kind of cut this way. And then uh, this one is not really designed for straight cut. So I just kind of just roughly cut out. And we have many other tools to actually make it fine cut. So don't worry about it. So I just turn it on. I will use this one. I just cut one side of it. So I want you to the rest by yourself. One X for one person. <laughs> hey, would you cut one edge? Yes. And actually, uh, when you cut that, uh, you do you feel, do you see that? I kind of rotate a little bit. At the near the at the end of it, because I, I kind of realized that this blade is a kind of approach this boundary area too much. That's why I kind of rotate and change the angle of it. But uh, when you cut this one, definitely this boundary area is okay to cut out. But try not to cut your main model. That's it. Okay. And then in this case, as you see that, 
no matter which ad, but I would rather, it doesn't really matter. However, when you do that, we have cut empty area here. So probably there's a high probability that this will kind of tilt like this way. So I definitely, I may want to use another wood to support uh, this cutting kind of equally, evenly. Oh, wait a second. So uh, please expect that when you cut this uh, uh, this uh, frame area, and when you cut this kind of lower edge area, you'll feel very different resistance. Mm -hmm. So be ready that the speed for this cutting, when you, this will be switched to this one. Be careful that, I don't know whether you feel that, when I press it, I kind of suddenly being pushed. So be careful about that one too. So again, it's a kind of continuous dialogue between material resistance and your forcing power. Okay, next. Also, there's a light switch, the yellow one. Uh, actually, uh, you did very good. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that um, so, uh, he intentionally, at the last part, he slowed down. Mm -hmm. And the benefit of the so kind of, uh, I explained that when you approach it, I told you that approach it very slowly. But as you see, kind of this kind of edge thing, you can prevent it by slowing down the last exit. So it's very, mm -hmm. there was very good movement. So again, uh, yeah. And then uh, that one is actually important is that when you cut last part, if you're maintaining it, because there's no matter at the back, if you don't slow down, it will kind of like, it will kind of move like, whoop, like this. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of prepare your mind that, oh, there will be some last movement and slow down and finalizing is very good gesture. Okay, so. We are going to cut the, we are going to send it and cut the rest part uh, uh, next week in the C5. 
So uh, that's it for today. Uh, so uh, as you see, you probably see the some kind of glue mark here, meaning that if there's no glue here, it just come out easily. Mm -hmm. And we don't know where will be small part or large part. So again, uh, use enough glue to prevent any, uh, actually I have a lot of occasions last year. So use enough or use enough glue. And, and then to prevent this kind of triangulation, again, use a lot of, uh, use more polygons when you export. Okay. And uh, pretty much that's it. So that's it for today. And then would you clean out the, area and that's it for today so uh what uh if you don't mind clean up vacuum everything and they would do trash all the unnecessary thing